trying to, to go after a feeling, you know, like a pure feeling of creating things. I kind of run by that and, and it kind of keeps me going. It helps me with my autism. I've done it since I was a little kid. I literally can't stop drawing or painting. Uh, even in prison, I would fill up cells and they would get mad at me and stuff like that. But that's just what I do. safe place like when I do or I'm drawing things I'm okay people think I'm being productive they leave me alone and let me do it so it's like a safe bubble that I can go into and it's also a way as I grow or my skill or my talent grows with it it creates a platform or a way for people to kind of identify with me I can communicate with people it's a voice in a way of um, expressing ideas that I have a hard time obviously saying as you could tell Words aren't my choice of, of medium. <laughs> um, with Asperger's syndrome, the hardest thing is communicating. Um, our skills at communicating with people are really kind of nil. So this gives me something I can focus on when I talk to people and then I can interact with them and it helps me to um, process thoughts. You know, it's just, it's all, it's kind of a, it's more than just like art or just a drawing or some hustle or trying to make money. It's just kind of a way that I can relate to people who process neurotypically. You know what I mean? Um, right. And it gives us a, a safe place, a safe place to, to think and talk together, you know, where the focus is on something else. And it's just always helped me. It helped me in prison, it helped me in school, and uh, when I couldn't get along with people um, or, you know, that type of thing it's, it's a social it helps me socially too you know it gives me like an outlet that way um a way to relate to people if that makes sense where i wouldn't have it otherwise um well masks you know d during the the covid and currently right now are, are you know, we need them, we're using them. So as far as that goes, I, I probably wouldn't have nothing to do is related so much to COVID, but I think people wear masks all the time. I think, I mean, I get to tie into the COVID, but masks are like part of, um, part of how we function in society, you know, but sometimes we forget we have those masks on and that kind of becomes the problem because some masks are necessary. Um, but it's when we forget that it's a mask and we try to make it our real face. Right. Um, that things go wrong. And I kind of think that the fact that we've had to wear these masks over COVID and all that stuff, I'm hoping kind of maybe help people get back in touch with their real face, you know, like like the one that you've been trying to cover since you were little kid. Like I, you know, so I construct and then destroy. I'll destroy this entire sketch. You'll barely be able to see it and I'll do it again. And then the colors are a lot of, um, it's really, this is about the colors. So these, these color paintings that I do, this mm -hmm. is a style that I developed and thought about doing in prison, but never had the tools to do it. And in the sense of the paint, because you can see how much paint I use. The mm -hmm. paint I've used here would have to last me a year, year and a half in prison, and would be extremely hard to acquire. And uh, to the point of having to steal stuff to do this, you know, from art programs and such. Yeah. You know, and then you do it on a tiny little piece of paper and you're like, oh, I know it needed to be bigger. And so it's uh, the process, this process for me of, of, of constructing and deconstructing and tearing it apart um, may come from the angst of wanting to do this so bad like to paint like this like literally like this um it's uh to me every time i do it i'm like god i grab this paint like i look at this bottle of paint i'm like holy cow like i don't have to really worry about um doing a project for someone else or paying for a college book you know um 
I can grab this little two, three dollar bottle of paint now and move it around this canvas. And to me, that's like a big freedom, man. I'm like, wow, like, holy cow. That's a big deal, you know, to, 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 yeah. to be in there and not be able to do, to imagine a painting. Like, it's sit there and imagine every stroke of a painting, every technique, putting this underneath, drawing over it, and not be able to do it for years and years and years. Uh, you can only imagine how it feels to do it now. So what does it mean to me? It, it it's, uh, means a lot of things, man. It, it means that right now, at this moment, that everything in the whole world is so cool that I'm able to do a painting. You know, it means that nobody's, um, there, there's no, nothing that I have to chase right now. There's nothing that I have to worry about. I don't have a, 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 a problem on the yard. I don't have a, a uh, problem at work, uh, an issue, uh, I, I don't even have to do a tattoo right now, um, you know, so it's like these are the moments that that you do all the other moments for, you know, and then I, I just, to me, it's like trying, I guess a successful life is to be able to do this more and more and more and do all the other stuff less and less, because I, I guess after how long I've been on earth, you know, um, which may or may, may not be that long considering your perspective. But I've kind of compressed a lot of shit in that time. But to me, that's kind of like what the successful life is about. Is like, like, what, what are you doing right now? Is it, what dog are you feeding right now, right? Are you feeding this dog that thinks he's going to retire in 40 years and be happy then? No. No. I'm doing this to be happy right now because I realize in that prison cell that there is no, there is never a later. There never is. But right now, right now, there's right now, right? So you can never take right now away from a person. And if you always stay in the moment, you'll always be able to keep what you have. I didn't even know the paint glue in the dark. And then I'm in this dark garage during Christmas and I pass this neon light over it because I'm getting ready to do neon tattoo. And I've seen all my paintings glowing in the dark and I'm like, wow! <laughs> so now I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm kind of, I got the black light out and I'm going to see what they look like as I'm painting and see how that influences my art. So that's just a whole new aspect. It's like a second painting in the painting that I wasn't even aware was there.